In the heart of the enchanted forest, our young hero, Captain Jake, begins his quest for the lost treasure. This is it, the adventure of a lifetime. boat to cross the river. Welcome back to AM and Egen channel. In this video, I'll show you how to craft amazing AI animations. This workflow is the best you'll find. We'll transform still images into captivating storytelling scenes, step by step. Learn how to sync lip movements to your script, making your creations truly unique. With dedication, you can achieve animation studio level quality and even monetize your work on YouTube or for clients. I will include the prompts I'm using in the description below. The video is quite lengthy, but rest assured, all the content is valuable. Simply follow my instructions, and you'll be well on your way to creating your very own cartoon. But before we do, can you please give me a quick subscribe and comment? It only takes 3 seconds, and it helps me a lot. Thank you so much! So, let's get started! Step 1, you need to create a story for your video. You can use ChatGPT, an AI model that can generate stories based on your prompts. To use ChatGPT, you need to go to the website and sign up for a free account. Click New Chat at the top left corner of the page. Then, you can enter a prompt in the text box. For example, if you want to create a story for a kid, you can enter something like this. If you are not satisfied with the story ChatGPT suggests, you can create a story by clicking the Regenerate button. After you have a story for children, turn it into an animated script. You can find all the prompts I use in the description. Step 2. Write animated scripts. To create an engaging animation script, we'll break the story into scenes and frames, making it easier for viewers to follow. We'll incorporate dialogue or narration, along with sound effects and background music if needed. For example, you can enter something like this. After a while, I chose the story for my cartoon. To create images for the frames, I use the Midjourney tool. Midjourney is an online tool that leverages artificial intelligence to generate stunning images from simple text prompts. While it's a paid tool, it proves highly valuable as it allows us to have significant control over the image creation process, ensuring consistent characters throughout our project. To get started with Midjourney, follow these steps, sign up for Discord, and subscribe to a Midjourney plan. First, click the Add a Server button in the left menu. Select Create My Own and then follow the instructions to create your own channel. Next, click on the newly created channel, select Add Your First App, and in the search bar, type Midjourney. Add the Midjourney bot to your server. Now, we will request ChatGPT to generate prompts for each frame's image and character. You can choose the animation style you prefer, such as Pixar style or Walt Disney style. For this tutorial, we're going to use Studio Ghibli style, we'll input them like this.
Back to Mid Journey, go to the Your Channel and type slash Imagine Prompt, followed by a textual description of the image you desire. We will use these descriptions to generate images in Mid Journey. We can observe differences in the faces and outfits in the photos. To establish a consistent character, let's utilize Remix Mode. First, activate Remix Mode with the slash prefer Remix command. Once Remix Mode is enabled, you have the flexibility to edit your prompt for each variation. You can create either subtle or strong variations of a generated image using the V1, V2, V3, and V4 buttons under each image grid, or you can make use of the very strong and very subtle buttons under an upscaled image. It's advisable to start with a character photo as your initial reference and then remix other photos to ensure consistency among all the images. For example, I will select the picture of the character Jake, 8 years old, carrying a red backpack as our starting point. You might need to go through this process multiple times before finding the most suitable photo. Additionally, you can employ the Midjourney Vary Region Editor to select and regenerate specific parts of an upscaled image. Alter the shooting angle to enhance the visual appeal of your animation. For instance, if you've been depicting the forest from a frontal perspective, consider capturing an aerial view instead. You can request GPT Chat to provide suggestions for various shooting angles. For example, you can input a request like this. Lab is a powerful text-to-video platform that can unleash your creativity by typing. Join the Pika Labs Discord server by clicking on the link at the bottom of their website. In this section, we'll delve into Pika Labs' most recent developments, covering motion control, frame rates, camera movement, and the animate command. Stay tuned for a closer look at all these aspects. First, Pika now allows private video generation, so you can bypass the need for a dedicated channel. Just click on the SpeakerBot's profile, use the Send Message option, and start creating videos directly through direct messages. Before we dive into video creation, let's understand some important parameters. Motion controls the motion within your videos, while frame per second, default at 24, smoothest transitions. Guidance skill, set at 12, determines how closely the AI follows prompts. Aspect ratio, a familiar parameter, remains. Seed maintains video consistency, but it's effective when both positive and negative prompts remain fixed. A typical prompt structure includes aspect ratio, motion, guidance skill, frame per second, camera movement, and seed value. Now, let's explore the animate command, a recent addition. You need to provide an image, while the prompt is optional. For example, I will enter, a young boy blinked his eyes. The wind blew his hair. The default guidance skill is set to 12. Increasing this value, for example, by using GS20 leads to a closer adherence to the provided prompt and reduces deviations. For instance, when re-entering the prompt with GS20, it might look like this. Another exciting feature is Remix, 
which allows you to change prompts without re-uploading images. This feature streamlines the process. For instance, I'll change the prompt to camera zoom in and camera zoom out then the AI will adapt accordingly. Motion control is essential. You can adjust motion values to influence the output speed. Let's test it with values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Notice how it affects the video's pacing. You can also run different commands simultaneously. For instance, I'm going with pan up here. Next, let's go with pan right. Now, let's take a look at the results. You can explore various directions, such as pan up left, pan down right, pan up right, and pan down left. Additionally, you can use terms like clockwise CW, counterclockwise CCW, and anticlockwise ACW for rotation. In this example, we have camera rotate with clockwise and anticlockwise variations. Let's take a look at the results. The videos demonstrate the specified rotations. You can also delete videos you don't like by typing yes. How can we make it longer? Well, the trick is to extract the last frame from this video and use it as a reference for a new video. This way, we can create a seamless transition from one video to another. Visit finalframe.net to extract the final frame from your video, it's a free online tool for this purpose. Simply upload your Pika generated video, click Extract Final Frame, save it to your computer, and then return to Pika Labs. Input the same prompt as before, but this time, upload the extracted frame as your reference image. This tells Pika Labs to continue from where the previous video left off. By combining these two videos, we create a new 6 second video. Eleven Labs is an AI platform that empowers users to generate lifelike and expressive voices, suitable for use in stories, podcasts, or videos. We will utilize it to produce the voiceovers and dialogue for the cartoon. Go to their website or and create an account with your email or social media account. Pick a voice that suits your needs. You can use one of the ready-made voices in the voice library. You can also create a new synthetic voice by changing the gender, age, and accent settings. Type the text you want to turn into speech in the Speech Synthesis tab. You can write in any language that is supported and choose the emotion and style for the speech. You can also adjust the speech rate, pitch, and volume settings to make the speech sound more natural. Click the Generate button to produce and download your audio. You can listen to the audio and edit it if you want.
Telemoo Studio is a tool that allows you to create lip sync videos and text to speech audio with artificial intelligence. You can use it to make realistic looking videos with the most precise lip synchronization in just a few seconds. To use Lalamu Studio, you need to follow these steps. Go to the Lalamu Studio demo version and choose a video from the library or upload your own video. Choose an audio file from the library or upload your own audio. You can also use the text to speech option to type or paste your text and select a voice. Click on the create button and wait for the AI to process your video and audio. Preview your lip sync video and download it. This is it. The adventure of a lifetime. This is it. The adventure of a lifetime. Next, we will use HitPaw Video Enhancer software to improve video quality. This is a paid software, but it is really worth the money. HitPa Video Enhancer is a software that can help you improve the quality of your videos with artificial intelligence. It can upscale low-resolution videos to 4K or 8K, reduce noise, colorize black and white videos, enhance colors, interpolate frames, and stabilize shaky videos. Here are some steps on how to use it. Download and install it from its website. Launch it and choose the files you want to enhance. Select an AI model for enhancing the videos. Preview the effect and adjust the parameters if needed. Export the enhanced video. This is it. The adventure of a lifetime. Pixabay is a free media website. You can use its images, videos, audio and more for anything. No permission or credit needed. I use Pixabay to find sound effects and background music. Visit it to search for background music sound effects for your animated movie. CapCut is a free video editing app that you can use to edit movies on your computer. You can use CapCut to trim, crop, rotate, speed up, slow down, reverse, add transitions, filters, stickers, text, music, effects, and more to your movie clips. Here are some steps on how to use CapCut to edit movies. Download and install the software from their website. Launch the software and initiate a new project by importing the video clips you wish to edit. Include all audio elements, such as sound effects, character dialogue, narration, and background music. Utilize the toolbar to access various editing tools and apply them to your clips. Preview your movie and make any necessary adjustments to the timeline and effects. Finally, export your completed movie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI related content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I hope you enjoyed